have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're going to be, who you're going to be, who you're going to be. Good day, everyone. I decided to do a realistic morning routine, quarantine routine, I must say. Um, I'm always home regardless, so I don't mind filming this. And I just thought it would be so fun to film as well. And I don't know why I went over on YouTube to check <laughs> how the morning routines are. And mine is nothing like that. It's a really real life. Right after I'm done doing my business in the restroom, I head over to the fish tank to turn on the light. And yes, it's dirty. I clean it every week on a Saturday. We almost there. I also take care of my fur babies where I take them outside to potty, give them some cuddles, and just get this day started just like that. <laughs> You know that saying where things happen for a reason? I feel low-key that God took my phone away so I'll be able to pay attention more to his word and to him because I was tired of feeling, you know, kind of like empty inside. So I'm making it a habit where I read my Bible. So we are going to eat something very, very light, not something heavy. It, you know, you just wake up a little bit hungry or thirsty. That's the case with us. I just make some toast and cereal for the kids. I don't even know why I took out the eggs yet, but yeah, you get it. <laughs> I would love to know in the comments what is your morning routine is it basic is it extra is it too much I feel like staying in a routine with times like this makes you feel like you're doing something with your life at the same time so I I just feel like it's better to have this set routine where I just get to wake up do something you know even if i don't make my bed just do something make it meaningful that day you know you're still blessed to wake up and just breathe so that's just a little motivation motivation speech <laughs> feed my bed of fish twice a day but they still beg for food which makes me feel so bad but we gotta do what we gotta do and of course i end up giving the kids cereal they didn't want eggs like i said something light and then right after this it was a rainy day so they went to take a nap
as the kids are napping, I head over to my cabinets and get my prenatal pills. And I just focus a little bit on myself. I don't do too much. I don't put makeup on. You know, I don't do the extra things. Like, I don't have time for that. Like, <laughs> um, that's too much. Especially when I'm pregnant and tired all the time. It's just too much for me. Once I'm done washing my face and brushing my teeth, I head over to my bed once again and cuddle with my fur babies. Um, it's like they know I'm pregnant, you know, they they feel it because they're always just constantly on my stomach and it is the cutest thing. They don't leave my side regardless, pregnant or not. And sometimes I struggle to film because, you know, if I just have them in a time lapse, it kind of gets annoying, but I truly love their cuddles so much so around this time i head over to the kitchen and start you know giving them their food sometimes they eat sometimes they don't but i always have to keep on the watch on that so i'll be able to know and tell whenever they need to go potty i finally stopped running now i also had to make sure to wash a little bit of dishes whatever it is sometimes i just clean as i go so it won't be hard on me whenever it's you know lunch time because i feel like every time i let dishes pile up or something like that it makes me not feel motivated at all to do anything because you know it's just dirty so i do focus on washing a little bit of dishes you know it's just extra five minutes but it is so worth it to just keep up with it I take advantage of the kids sleeping and start sweeping a little bit and you know just keeping up like I said I don't do major cleaning in the mornings like I used to like I said I'm pregnant don't have the you know <laughs> the strength to do it and I knew the kids were gonna wake up soon so I went ahead and just started with breakfast again. See your face. I never knew you could love someone like me. You climb my tower. We have been obsessed with pancakes lately, especially the kids, and I really enjoy making them to be honest with you. And I know that I make I make them different. I would like to know how you make your pancakes. This is how my mom taught me and they taste really, really good. But I just want to know because I know a lot of people don't do it like I do it. So leave it in the comments.
gotta play it cool. Keep my head up above the water. Now I forgot to film what syrup I use for the pancakes and I do use a lot. I'm not gonna lie, but um, it does seem wrong, but this this one does not taste really sugary if I know if you know what I mean. Like it's like a non brand and I don't know, but the kids like it because it's a buttermilk flavor and it's just not too much to the point that you know you get tired of it because it's just too sweet. So I just want to throw it out there before I get comments. And also I broke my nail, which I got to fix later, but uh, it's frustrating. The kids also had to brush her teeth and myself again, because you know, we don't want that junk in our teeth. Once we are done brushing our teeth, we head over back to the living room. We get to enjoy each other's company and we take advantage and learn with a book or some flashcards. Once Hazel gets frustrated with me of teaching her, I just let her play a little bit, cool off, and then I head over to my plants, check to see if they need water, and I just water what, you know, plant needs to be water, and I just check up on them and make sure they don't snow bugs, and that's basically what I do every day. Now, I water plants every day, but different ones. They have different schedules, different needs, but it's a truly therapeutic moment for me and then once I'm done I head over to my room and vacuum um, like I said I don't really clean so much in the morning anymore I start to clean when I get my energy after the coffee <laughs> of course decaf and you know I'm just being real with you. I don't have my stuff together right now. You know, it's like the pregnancy threw me off on that schedule a little bit where I had everything down and organized. And now I'm just back to let's just do what I have to do for today and not stress about it. Once I'm done with that little shore, I head over to my cabinets and I get the clothes that I'm going to wear before taking a shower. I truly enjoy showers now in the morning compared to the night and the nighttime. I just take baths, but in the morning just really gets me started with the day. I make some coffee and you know, just getting started for the cleaning routine that I get to do like in the afternoon. Let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see a cleaning routine like in the midday. So as you saw, I'm done with my coffee and I make sure to grab my iPad, my coffee, head over to the bedroom once again. That's what I like to do my bed in the morning because I'm always in bed and I'm always cold and I'm hot and it's just, no, it's okay. It's comfy still. <laughs> OMG, my stomach is definitely growing. That's crazy. I can't believe this is my fourth child. And yes, I got some questions on that. I do have 
three kids one of them does not like to be on camera whatsoever and i had to respect that so now that i'm so comfortable and getting my energy i start you know with the editing if i had to edit that day otherwise that would be it you guys and then i get to start like you know midday routine but that's all i have for you guys today i hope you really enjoy make sure you get a thumbs up and let me know in the comments as always god bless you take care i'll see you and catch you on my next one bye